What's going on guys, it's me, Jim Fan 2016 here, and today, we have another model plane unboxing video for you guys. I hope you guys are excited for today's video. First unboxing for 2023, and I'm just excited. So, without being said, let's get started. So we have two boxes. Actually, before we start, as you guys see on my previous videos, like a couple of days ago, I did get a new phone. This is my iPhone 14 Pro Max. I'm currently recording this video on this new iPhone and overall this phone is absolutely amazing and the quality on this phone is really nice and I do love like the camera feature that is just amazing so really fortunate to have many of these like videos recorded on my iPhone 14 and you should expect more videos to come so now let's get into what we have so far so we have two we have two boxes basically so we have two boxes right here ready to be unboxed and these all come from the same airline and same model plane manufacturer NG models so that's like a hint well if you saw the thumbnail then you should pretty much know what it is but I'll be unboxing two NG models AC21s and they all come from the same airline and let's get started with the first box so with that being said let's begin with our first box Alright, so let's begin with our first box right here. This box comes from West Coast Diecast, and I really do love purchasing models from them. They have great customer service, and they always check their models just to make sure the quality control is perfect. So, it arrives at our house, or my house in this case, intact. So, I did purchase two models from them in the past. This marks my third one from them. And this is like a restock order they just like announced this week. So as of this recording, I think it was last week or Friday or so. But the shipping was very fast. And yeah, I can't regret a purchase from West Coast Diecast. So let's see what this model is. And this is a restock from, I gotta say, one of the most sold out models from NG. And it's like a demanding model from them for like a long time. And as I try to take this out. Oh, I gotta like cut the sides. Never mind. Well, yeah. Gotta like cut the sides right there. So as I cut the sides, perfect. So we should open up this top portion right here. And this is another, this is a model that I've been wanting ever since like I started model plane collecting. And finally, I have acquired it as I open the box. There she is, everybody. As I take her, take her out of the bubble wrap. Oh yes sir, right here we have the NG Models 1400 scale JetBlue Airbus A321 in the Prism Tail. This is the re-release of this aircraft and man, I am so fortunate to have a JetBlue Prism Tail into my JetBlue fleet. Now let me see if I have like a GSC from them. It's gonna take a while for me to like look, cause like it's basically great. Cause like they would always send me a free GSE every time. I, well, there we go. I think I found it. And there it is. It's another baggage trolley. So basically the, the vehicle where it loads the bags into the plane. So I think this is a smaller one. I think the lever is kind of like smaller. I think this is for like regional jets if I were to guess. So let me put this aside. And I guess that is everything for the spot. So we're gonna like close all this and we're gonna whoop! that box and man I'm just excited for my JetBlue AC21 prism tail to be unboxed but we're not done yet we got another box to unbox and yeah let's go over the second box and the second box comes from the diecast airplane store now technically this will be my last purchase from the diecast airplane store as of now because like I heard some like these problems with diecast airplane store which i'm not going to go into further detail on what is going on but i found this out on model airplane well model airline form that the diecast air the diecast airplane store has changed ever since and honestly i won't stick with diecast airplane store but it is what it is and it's quite unfortunate so i think this could be my last purchase from them and yeah quite unfortunate well for now but quite unfortunate that the diecast airplane store has changed because there used to be like a good retailer but they have changed but yeah now this is now this was a model that i decided to get well basically that's yeah this is another model that i decided to like get too and i ordered this back in like black friday and it took a while because like diecast airplane store well i asked i asked them about that oh where is it oh sorry we forgot 
So at least they managed like ship it. That's the good thing. But I'm eager to see on what this model is going to turn out. And technically this was going to be like a double order. But I, it, it's instead like a single order for this model. So as I get this box unboxed. We have some packing paper right here. And as I take it out. Take all those out. And I see the model inside. Just like fit in there. So let me take her out. Come on. And she is finally out. So let me take her out of the bubble wrap. And we have another JetBlue Airbus AC-21. But this is in the balloon's tail. So really nice to also have this model as well. It will work perfectly for my JetBlue A321 in the prism tail. So yeah, so that is pretty much all the box right here. So those are the two boxes that I just unboxed. So we're also going to yeet this box. And... Let's go over these two models. Man, I'm just excited to add these two JetBlue models into my collection. And here they are, my two JetBlue Airbus A321s from NG Models. On your left, we have the Prism Tail, and on your right, we have the Balloons Tail. And these all come from NG September 2022 releases, so really nice to have them, and some more JetBlues added to my collection, like I said. I think I said that at the very beginning, but once again, really fortunate to have these and yeah let's start unboxing them i think what we're gonna start off first is we're gonna start with the prism tail first because like this is a model that i've been wanting for quite a long time so let's start off unboxing the prism tail first all right so let's begin here with the jetblue airbus ac21 in the prism tail by ng models in 1 400 scale really excited to have this i've been wanting to have a prism tail for a very long time and finally it is now here so the reason why i want to like get the prism tail is because like i would see these a couple of times like i think i would see a lot of them in san francisco so i wanted like a prism tail i wanted to get one but because of budget i had to like save and that thing sold out quickly the the september 2022 model that model right there sold out very quickly because it's been a while because like ever since june 2020 when jetblue well ng released this model that's their first version and that sold out very fast that sold out very fast as well so it's kind of like the same thing as like the june 2020 and yeah i couldn't get it but at least i got the 2022 version of it in their newer mold in this case so i'm really excited to have this so let's get started with the review of the box so you got the airbus a321 200 tiles right there you got the cgi image of the aircraft really love this box design this box art from ng it looks very nice it's kind of like similar to the one from the june 2020 model but i think it has some alterations with this so it looks very nice and you got the ng logo right there one point on scale diecast collectible mall diecast metal JetBlue logo and the registration of this aircraft, which is November 965 Julia Tango, which is the first, oop, which is the first Airbus A321, or technically, if I were to guess, I think this was the first Airbus aircraft made from like the Mobile, Alabama plant in the US, of course. So this is the first ever Airbus aircraft that was made in the US. So Airbus has like a plant in Mobile, Alabama. So yeah, they would mainly like produce like the A220s. So really interesting for ng to choose this registration here's the side of the aircraft looking pretty nice so nothing much although i can say the sides are very like they're amazing as well the sides and you got the back side pretty much the same you got your warning hazards right there and their social media pages and the item number of this model is 13035 and let's do this i can't wait to see this model in person i'm eager to see on how the quality control is because like i know like their newer A321 mold kind of suffer, kind of like suffers a bit in terms of QC, but I'm just eager to see if this model comes intact. Like I said, West Coast Diecast is, does an amazing job on checking the QC, and there she is right there. But first, we do have my August 2022 CRP from NG, looking pretty nice. And how about that? Wow, looking very nice. Let's take out all the cradle stuff and the plastic, and hopefully, no. Uh oh. Well, unfortunately, we have no missing. An we have no we have a missing antenna, fortunately. But if I could try checking the wings, that's good. And the horizontal st horizontal stabilizer is also good as well. So minus that missing antenna, this mall is amazing. And yeah, I don't see it from the box. 
but yeah, I don't even see it on the box either, nor the cradle, but at least I got them all intact, so that's a good thing, but other than that, so fortunate to have my JetBlue Airbus A321 in the prism tail. And here's the NG Mall's 1400 scale JetBlue Airbus A321 in the prism tail. Once again, I am so fortunate to have a prism tail into my collection, and this model looks amazing. The only downside is, there's a back missing antenna that's you're seeing right there, so... While that is unfortunate, I'm just hoping NG can at least improve, like, they can improve in their quality control. But other than that, really happy to have this. So, let's, be let's begin with the front of the aircraft, so you got your cockpit windows right there, and the nose shape of the aircraft, which is much better than their previous mold, and does seem more accurate. Then you got your top antenna right there, and then your nose gear, nose gear door, which I'm seeing right now, it appears to be like slanted towards the front, which I would say it's quite unfortunate, but it is what it is. Not gonna complain, it can be like, see, it, it's not a big deal for me in my opinion. I think that could have been fixed a little bit more. So, if that's that. And then you got your outline of the radome right there, and there, there's your pedo tube. Now, I did say like the pedo tubes and sack ports were to be, were in the front basically but that's the pedo tube right there this is the stack port so it's kind of like situated close to the nose gear so that's where it is and then you got the name of the aircraft right there which is name the aircraft's name is bluesmobile so that's a bluesmobile <laughs> that's a pretty interesting name right there so it's kind of like mobile or oh, the bluesmobile i think so that is a pretty interesting name name right there yeah so you got your L1 boarding door right there, and then your fly fi logo, and your big jet blue tiles right there, and then you got your L2 door right there. Moving on to the middle of the aircraft, you got your IAH B2500 inches right there, and then you got your main gear, looking pretty nice. And then your, there's your L3 door right there, and then your shark lid, painted blue. Let's look at the wing detail, so here's the wing detail of the aircraft, so you got your leading edge with the flaps. Not flaps, the slats, and your trailing edge with the flaps. And then you got your fairings and spoiler details right there. So, that looks pretty nice, I gotta say. And then moving on to like the back side, you got your bottom antenna, which is situated right there. And then you got your Wi-Fi dome right there. And there's the missing antenna, you can see that hole. Let me put this in like that. So there's the hole right there where the first back antenna should have been. But yet again, quite unfortunate that I have experienced this. And yeah. But I'm just here to like have this model into my collection. I'm not gonna get a replacement. Other, I, I didn't, I didn't that. The ball came intact, so that's a good side. Anyways, here, there's the very back. So you got your Airbus A321 tiles right there. Your L4 door, US flag, and the registration of the aircraft, which is November 965 Julia Tango, like I said. And there, there's your very back antenna right there. And then there's the APU and the horizontal stabilizers and the prism tail, which I gotta say, it looks pretty nice and accurate. Well, technically I would say accurate, but the printing of the tail is accurate. The saturation, that's what I meant to say, is very nice. And moving on to this side right here, you got your cargo door right there. That's the front cargo door. And then the back cargo door is located right there. And now for a top view of the aircraft. So here's the top view of the aircraft looking pretty nice. Except for that hole, like I said, which is quite unfortunate. And here's the bottom of the aircraft, you got your stain hole and all this amazing detailing right there from NG. Here's the front of the aircraft, now if I could, if I could try like, put it like this. So yeah, there's the front of the aircraft right there. And moving on to the back side of the aircraft. Perfectly, perfectly leveled horizontal stabilizers. I apologize for that voice crack. But other than that, really nice model from NG and it took many months to get this model into my collection and finally, she has make it into my collection, my JetBlue fleet. So, really nice to have this model. And once again, great model by NG Models. And while I can say that the model does have a little bit of QC controls, well, yeah, quality control issues, it's still a good model. And I forgot to mention the seating arrangements for the H321s. This is an all core class aircraft, so there's no mint. That it only has like the ribbons tail that that's classified as a mint, but it's all core class, which is kind of like an economy class for JetBlue. So pretty much it runs throughout the entire cabin of the aircraft. So yeah, once again, a decent work by NG Models, and so fortunate to have my JetBlue Prism Tail A321. Now let's move on to the balloons tail, and here's the second NG Models Airbus A321 from JetBlue. This time it's in the balloons tail. I am also excited to have this model into my collection, 
as it will work perfectly for my NG JetBlue Airbus A321neo in the balloon's tail also. So, as I get my trusty pencil out, we got the Airbus A321-200 tiles right there. We got the CGI image of the aircraft. Here's the box art of the bottle itself. And I gotta say, it kinda looks familiar to like the A321neo back then. And like I said, it's kinda like has more, like it has some adjustable touch to it. So if I were to have a picture, you can see how each box is kinda like similar. But the CO version is quite different compared to the Neo version. So really interesting right there. And then you got your NG logo right there, one for one scale die cast collectible models, JetBlue, and the registration of the aircraft, November 9005, Juliet Bravo. And interesting registration. Oop. Here's the sides. Of course, they're pretty much the same, but also looks nice. And here's the back with all your social media pages right there. And the warning hazards. And the item number of this model is 13032. So I'm really excited to get the second JetBlue A321. If I could like open it, if that were the case, I think I would open it on this side. I'd rather like open it on this side just because it's easier. As you can see, much easier. So as I take her out of this box, and there she is. And here's my August 2022 CRP. And let's take her out. Can't wait to see her. Hopefully no QC issues on this ball this time. It's looking good so far. And as I check the wings, there's a slight there's a slight wiggle to it, but it's not coming out. But this one, that's also good. And the horizontal stabilizer should also be good. And then we have our intact JetBlue AC21 Neo. Well, not AC21. It's a CO in the balloon's tail. And as I set down my camera, there she is right there. Looking absolutely pretty. And here's the NG Mall's JetBlue Airbus A321CO in the balloon's tail. I'm really liking on how this model turned out, and I think it turned out much better in terms of QC compared to my Prism tail one. And I gotta say, Diecast Airplane Store did a fantastic job on this model in terms of like keeping this model intact. So, really excited to review this. I'm not gonna go much into review because it's pretty much the same thing. The livery is pretty much the same thing. They just changed the tail. So. You got your cockpit windows right there, top antennas, and your nose shape of the aircraft, much better. And here's the nose gear and nose gear door, which is much better because, like, it's not slanted, which is much more better than the prism tail one. And then you got the name right there. This is named Blue Suede, which is a pretty interesting name. And, of course, you got your L1 and L2 boring doors. You got the big jet blue titles, your pitot tubes, and your static port right there, fly fire logo. Moving on to this side, you got the IAE V2500 engines and the main landing gear and the winglets or the sharklets in this case here's the wing detail right there looking pretty nice and here's the l3 door right there along with your wi-fi dome and there's your bottom antenna and there's your antenna this is the first back antenna right there which at least it stayed intact this time which is pretty nice and moving on to the back side and the very back also you got the back antenna right there back back antenna and then you got the elpo door and the airbus a221 tiles right there U.S. flag and the registration of the aircraft, once again, it is November 9005, Juliet Bravo. And then you got the APU and the horizontal stabilizers. And there's the balloon's tail looking very nice. And once again, very saturated. I think it might be a bit different compared to my Neo version. But it kind of looks a little bit different. Let me look on the sides right here. Yeah, I think it may look different compared to my A321 Neo that I have. So really interesting right there. And of course, moving on to this side, you got your cargo door right there. There's your front cargo door. And a back, back cargo door, excuse me, is right there. Looking pretty nice and detailed. And now for a top view of the aircraft. So let me set this model right here. So here's the top view right there. Looking pretty nice with all the printings. And moving on to the bottom side of the aircraft. Here's the bottom side. You got your bottom antenna right there. And then you, there's your stand hole right there. If you could try to see it. I'm not sure if I can like see it because it's painted in navy blue. Moving on to the front of the aircraft, so here's the front of the aircraft, perfect ground flex on this aircraft as well. And here's the back side of the aircraft, with perfectly leveled horizontal stabilizers. So, really nice model right here from NG Models, and I gotta say, really interesting for JetBlue to add like an A321 CO, and overall, well, A321 CO with the balloon's tail is what I'm saying, so, really interesting right there. But I think it still looks nice, and NG did a nice job on replicating it in one foreign scale, so really liking their hard work. I just hope their QC issue, where their QC problems improve. 
so we won't get broken miles from them because NG they are a great company and I know they, they have great customer service so I know they're gonna improve on this. But anyway that is it for today's video so let me line up all my two JetBlue models and conclude this video. And here are my two JetBlue Airbus A321s by NG models in their September 2022 set. Really nice to have these models into my collection and for my JetBlue fleet of course, especially for the prism tail. The prism tail is what I've been wanting for quite a long time and finally it's here. So I'm really excited to add that for future airport updates. And as for my balloons tail, really nice model right there. It looks pretty nice and overall NG models, they're very nice and I gotta love their models I gotta say cause like they're nice except for quality control models like this JetBlue prism tail. While I can say it could have been better, it could have turned out a lot better, eh, it is what it is. But other than that, really nice models and perfect for my JetBlue collection. And once again, I'm excited to add these models into a future airport update. So that is it for today's video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on that post notification bell so you won't miss a video like this anytime soon. And make sure to check out most of my other model plane unboxings that are in the description or in the card of course. Well, technically, yeah, you can click on the card as well. But you can check out all my model plane unboxings from the past that I've done. And yeah, go check that out and see how you like them. So, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Anyways, good night.